kitchen. Now, are you ever making buttercream for the top of your cupcakes or the side of your cakes and you just find it's quite yellow? In the UK, we have quite yellow butter, which can really cause this problem. Now, in this week's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use the same American buttercream recipe, but make your frosting white. Okay, let's get started. So before we create the white buttercream, what I'm going to do is create a small batch of my normal American buttercream, just so that we have something to compare it with and so that we can see the difference. Now I will put a link in the description below to my American buttercream recipe and lots of tips and tricks on how to get it perfect. So here I've got the ingredients for half of my recipe. So I've got 85 grams of my butter. And as you can see, our butter is quite yellow. So this is what creates this yellow or ivory color buttercream. I've then got 170 grams of icing sugar, which I'm gonna sift into my bowl. I've then got just under a tablespoon of milk and I'm gonna be adding half a tablespoon of vanilla flavoring. Now I'm popping all of that into my AEG stand mix and I'm using my spatula paddle attachment. I'm then gonna mix this up for around five minutes until we get a nice creamy buttercream. Now in my American buttercream recipe video, I do go through the types of butter that you need to use for your buttercream. So I'm using a block of butter and this has been left to get to room temperature. Once that's been mixed, it's gone nice and creamy. So I've got my bowl of buttercream. The only thing is it's got this slight yellow tinge to it. Now, for most of my cakes, this would be absolutely fine. So if I was adding some pink color into it, for example, then you wouldn't actually notice the yellow tones. Now, with some colors, it really does help to lighten your buttercream first. So I'm gonna pop this to one side, just so we can compare the difference. Okay, so let's start working on our white buttercream. Now I'm using exactly the same recipe, I'm just making a full batch. So I've put 170 grams of butter in my bowl. Now the thing with butter is the more you beat it, the lighter it gets. So I'm gonna start with my butter first and I'm gonna beat this until the color really starts to lighten. This is really gonna help you on your mission to getting lighter buttercream. Now, for some people, when they want to create white buttercream, you may have read that they use vegetable shortening or something like Trex because it doesn't have a color. Now, this works absolutely fine, but it does change the flavor, so you don't get that nice buttery taste in your buttercream. So I've popped this into my stand mixer and I'm gonna mix this on a high speed for around 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna show you the difference with the color of your butter. So I've had my butter on my mixer for around 15 minutes. And to show you how much it's lightened, I've been taking out the butter at different intervals, but this is the butter when we started. This is then after five minutes, 10 minutes and 15 minutes. So you can see all the way through, it's lightened quite a lot. So this is really gonna help us get a whiter buttercream. I'm then gonna sift in my icing sugar. So I've got 340 grams. To this, I'm gonna add 1.5 tablespoons of milk. Now, I'm then gonna add my flavoring. Now, you can go ahead and add the normal flavoring you would use. So, my vanilla flavoring is this dark ivory color. But one thing you can do in order to stop any more color going into your mixture is find a flavor or a brand where their colorings are clear. Now, this is actually a strawberry flavoring, but some brands do do a vanilla in a clear liquid. So, into my bowl, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my flavoring. I can then put all my ingredients back on my mixer and mix this up until it's nice and creamy. Once it's mixed and we have our buttercream, if we compare this to the original buttercream, you can see that by beating that butter for a lot longer, you create a slightly lighter buttercream. So the next thing we're gonna do in order to get our buttercream a lot whiter is add some purple. Now, this might seem totally crazy, but if you look on a color wheel, you'll see that purple is directly opposite yellow. And that means that purple can cancel out yellow tones. Now, any purple food gel will work. So I've just got the violet color splash and we want the most tiniest amount. You can always add more, but we don't wanna actually turn our buttercream purple. We just wanna add enough that it's gonna cancel out some of those yellow tones. I'm then gonna mix that through and you just wanna continue adding 
really tiny amounts at a time until you see your buttercream start to whiten. So if I take some of my buttercream out, we can compare how that's looking. So this is our buttercream before we added the purple and our buttercream after. So you can see it's whiter and has lost those yellow tones. Now, if we compare that with the buttercream at the beginning, you can see that there's a very noticeable difference in color. But I'm not ready to stop there as it doesn't seem white white, it's still got that off-white tone to it. So I'm now gonna add some whitener and you have a different kind. So I've got two different kinds here. First of all, you've got powdered whiteners. So this is the Super White by Sugar Flare. I actually prefer the liquid ones. So this is an icing and frosting whitener by Ingenious Edibles. Now I'm gonna use a measuring spoon for this just so we can see how much I'm using. This is half a tablespoon. So I'm gonna add that in. And this is just like adding in a different color. So this is just a white food gel. And you can add as much or as little as you like, depending on how white you want it. Now I want it quite white, so I'm gonna add a small amount more. So in the end for my full buttercream recipe, I added one tablespoon of the white now. So there we have our whitened buttercream. Now, if I compare it to the previous bowl, so this is before we added the white now, you can see that it's a lot lighter. And if I bring in the original buttercream, you can just see how much we've whitened that by. Now the same as I did with my butter, I've added some of these onto a plate so that you can see the difference. So we have the original buttercream just made the way I always do. We then have the buttercream which is after beating that butter for 15 minutes. So you can tell that it has lightened quite a lot. We then added in some violet to get rid of those yellow shades. And lastly added in the whitener. So you can see that there's a difference even between these two shades. So I've got my two bowls of buttercream here, the original recipe and the one which we've lightened. Now I know it can be difficult, especially on camera, to compare them. So I thought we would compare them with some of the other white things that you would use in baking. So first of all, I've got a small amount of the Renshaw fondant in white. So if we have a look at this one, you can see just how yellow that buttercream is. If we then compare it to our white one, I've then got some Wilton candy melts. So these are the Wilton candy melts in bright white. If I compare those to the first buttercream, you'll see just how yellow that is. And then against the whitened buttercream, they look almost identical. So here we have this white buttercream that you can now use on your cupcakes or on the side of your cakes. This works great maybe if you're creating it for weddings or you need something just a little bit whiter. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial and you'll find it useful when making your own buttercream. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every every time we upload a new video. Now I will put a list of all the tools that I've used in today's video plus my original American buttercream recipe in the description below. So until next time, 